we answer the question that most of us spend a lifetime asking. And that's, what am I here for? Why did God create me? And what is my purpose? You don't want to go through life never realizing your purpose. Going through life not realizing your purpose is like the body without breath. You know, it's like being without life. Because your purpose is your aim, your intention. It's your reason for waking up in the morning. Hey, nieces and nephews. Uncle J here. So my purpose is to come before you and to encourage you. And I want us to walk in that dominion, in that power. Hey, nieces and nephews. Uncle J here. JOnline.store. Where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Where you'll be walking victory and power and live your life on purpose. But today I want to share some footage from my series of late night with Uncle J.E. Uh, in this clip, we answer the question that most of us spend a lifetime asking. And that's, what am I here for? Why did God create me? And what is my purpose? You don't want to go through life never realizing your purpose going through life not realizing your purpose is like the body without breath you know it's like being without life because your purpose is your aim your intention it's your reason for waking up in the morning and when God created everything in the beginning in the earth the sun the moon the trees the birds everything had a purpose the Bible says he looked at everything he saw that it was good that it served the purpose which God created it. And even Adam had a purpose. God told him to be fruitful and multiply. And he also told him to till the ground and gain the animals. And you also have a purpose. You're not put here for nothing. So today, I will share this clip to help you answer those questions and help you find your purpose. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching my videos, and subscribing to my channel. There's no me without you, you know. It's a great honor to share what God has laid in my heart. If I can only help one person achieve their dreams to walk in the higher call of God in Christ Jesus and to reach higher levels, then I have done, I have achieved my purpose in life. So I know how it feels to go through life and not having anyone to back you or tell you that you're doing a good job or you're special or you can make it. When you have to encourage yourself or, or you have to push yourself, it's hard. But when you have support, when you have other people backing you or pushing you, sometimes it makes it easier and shortens the journey and you get there quicker. You know, my uncle, he, he had a saying, he said, a wise man learns from his mistakes, but a wiser man learns from your mistakes. And I want to share the information, the things that I've gone through so you can learn from my mistakes and sort of shorten the curve in your life that you have achieved the, the high calling and you can achieve your purpose in life. I thank you all again for joining me. Enjoy this clip from Late Night with Uncle J.E. about how to find your purpose and what is your purpose. And always remember, head always up. Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. Jayonline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel. I hope you're enjoying late nights with Uncle Jay. Hope you're networking, you're fellowshipping, you're getting to know one another. But I also hope that you're going after your dreams purpose that God has called you for you know a lot of us go through life and we don't know what we're put here for what we what we were created for if you look at the beginning of creation the Bible says that God created the Sun to be the greater light of the day and the moon to be the greater light the lesser light of the night. And he said those things will remain until the end of time. 
So you look at creation, everything God created was created for a purpose. Even Jesus himself, when he came to the earth, he said, for this purpose, I came into the world to save that which is lost. But a lot of us today, we go through our lives and the most frequent and most asked question is, what am I here for? What is my purpose? And I hope today that you can answer that question because you are put here for a purpose. God has equipped you with certain gifts and abilities. You know, these gifts and abilities, I call them superpowers. God has given you superpowers. You were born with them. You were created with them. It's just like a bird. A bird is made to fly. It doesn't have to learn how to fly. It doesn't have to be forced to fly. It just flies because it's a bird. You have certain ab abilities and gifts that God has given you. You can develop them. You can make them better, but you were born with them. They're your superpowers. They're your equipment, your utilities to make you become successful in this life, to make, to bring about the purpose of God in your life. So find out what those things are. Find out what you are passionate about, what you have a heart for. Most time, the conflict that you find around you or the things that you have a problem with or discuss with or you get angered about, those are may be where your purpose lies, where God is calling you to. We all have a call and we all have a task in life. But don't go through this life not fulfilling your purpose, not fulfilling what God has called you to. It'll be just like a a tree never growing leaves or never providing shade or never providing shelter for an animal. You just be here, you just it, your life will be worthless. So I hope that you will find your purpose in this life. You find what God has called you to. But God has given us all a purpose, so make sure you're living on purpose. Make sure you're not just going through this life. Most people, <laughs> because they don't know their purpose, they try to emulate and imitate other people. We see other things in other people. Some of us get frustrated in life because we're trying to be someone else. A tree doesn't try to be anything else. A, a, a tiger or a lion doesn't try to be anything else. It doesn't try to be a fish. It doesn't try to go swim in water. No, it be it's a tiger. It's a lion. It be it is what God created it to be. So that's what you have to do. You have to be what God created you to be. And that's how you can be the best version of yourself. Don't be like everybody else. Be yourself. Be unique. <clears throat> my motto for my business is dare you to be different. I dare people to be different. You know, social media will try to make us all to be carbon copies or a cookie cutter version. So I dare you to be different. But make sure you're living the best version of yourself. I have a saying, I, I look at life like a race or a marathon or a competition. I say, I'm going to spend my life. I'm going to run through the tape. You know, as we get older, we like to slow down or, or as we accomplish things or achieve things in our lives, we like to slow down. But there's no time to slow down. You're never too old. You're never too experienced. You're never too inexperienced. You know, run through the tape, no matter what you're doing in your life, run through the tape. Win in whatever situation that you're in. And maybe you don't win the race totally. Maybe you don't come in first. But I want you to celebrate your small wins today. You know, if you have accomplished a small goal today, if it's something that you've been planning on doing, make sure you celebrate congratulate yourself you know sometimes we like to praise others and congratulate others and we don't praise and commend ourselves you know we always like to do for others and put others ahead of ourselves but make sure you praise yourself make sure you put yourself on the list and love yourself
Because if you don't love yourself, how can you love others? You know, it's like an investment in the bank. If you don't have money in the bank, you can't go spend money. So if you don't have love for yourself, you can't give it to others. And God is love. So make sure you have Jesus Christ in your life. Don't try to lean on your own understanding. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean out upon your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. It even says, it says a, a man's heart divides his ways, but it's the Lord that guides his steps. So even we might try to choose a way for ourselves. But it's the Lord that guides our step. He knows the way we should go. When he led the children of Israel through the wilderness, he was a pillar of cloud to them by day and a pillar of fire to them by night. He was leading them the way they should go. So just trust God. He knows what's best. He knows where he's trying to take you. Like the 23rd Psalm, we all know it. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. So the Lord is the one that's directing me. He's the one that, that's leading and guiding you. He makes me to lie down in the green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. So God is with you. Just remember that Jesus Christ is with you. Lo, I am with you always, even until the very end. He promised to never leave you nor forsake you. He said he will be right there with you until the end. Just want to encourage you in the Lord. We go through this life and people are quick to point out things about you or say that you're not useful or you don't fit in. No one takes really the time to build people and praise people. You know, I look at it like a house, you know, you could take a hammer and tear down a house. But in order to build a house, it takes more detail. It takes measurement. Everything has to be precise. You know, you can't just put the plumbing in any kind of way or a foundation any kind of way. So people are quick to tear down people. That's easy. But to build people up, that's the true sign of greatness when you can disciple someone or you can duplicate yourself. So if you think you're great, duplicate yourself, help others, bring, pull, reach back and pull others where you are. But a lot of us were so selfish, even Christians were selfish. We think we have arrived <laughs> and we don't reach back and help others. When the Bible says the strong shall bear the infirmities of the weak, Paul even said, he said, I have not arrived. I have not attained that thing which I have not apprehended that thing which apprehended me. But some of us think we have arrived already. We think we are God, basically. We know more than God. I know what I should be doing. I know who I am. And, you know, but we forget about our weak brothers and sisters. And that's what I'm here for. This is what my channel is for. It's to help you to walk in victory, power and live your life on purpose. I'm not, I don't know everything. I'm not a high and mighty saint. I'm not a scribe. I'm not a, I'm not a Pharisee. I'm not a Sadducee. I don't have cliques. Matter of fact, I'm a loner. I'm an introvert. So it's difficult for me to even come up here and do this, but I do this because this is what God called me to do. To help go in and help others that was in the same situation I was in. And bring them out to let them know that God is able. It's no situation. It's nothing that you're going through that Jesus won't see you through. He won't bring you out. But just continue to trust God. Continue to look to Jesus Christ. He will do it. <laughs> Sometimes I know it gets dark. You, you're crying and, and people are all on your back and, and they're doing things to you, treating you wrong, and you're like, Lord, where are you, you know? But God is with you. Sometimes he uses those things to direct you. Like the, <laughs> the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, right? And it says, his rod and his staff, they comfort me. Sometimes 
a shepherd uses a rod and a staff to direct the sheep. You know, he taps them and he leads them the way they should go. So the things that you're going through in your life is sort of like a rod and staff God is using as a shepherd to direct you in the way you should go. Maybe you're going in the wrong way or you're heading in something that may be dangerous to you. So God taps you with the rod and staff to get you in the way you should go. Because that's the only thing God is concerned about is that you're doing his will. That you're doing what he put you here to do. But I appreciate you guys. It's my prayer time. Lord's will, I'll be back tomorrow. Make sure you share this out. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I drop new videos late nights with Uncle J.E. Also catch my episodes of Coffee with Uncle J.E. Those are doing the day. But keep me in prayer and I will also keep you prayer. And I pray that my Pray that my highest calling will be at the feet of Jesus, that he'll be glorified, that I may decrease, that he may increase, that he'll draw all men unto him. But always remember, head always up. Hey, Nisi. Hey, nephew. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Share this video. Hit the notification bell so anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. And always remember, head always up. But make sure you guys check out my website too. Where you find Christian Motivation Apparel, J E Online dot store, J E Online dot store. Where you find Christian and Motivation Apparel. You go there, you check it out. If you purchase something, you use the code Take Ten. Take Ten T A K E Ten. And I give you a 10% discount on everything that you purchase there.